What is happening guys, Mike here. Welcome back to the channel and my bathroom. As we talked about in the last video, I recently completed my one year growth challenge and decided to cut my hair. And of course, since doing that, I've had to kind of rediscover my styling routine for this new-ish style. And I've been using a bunch of stuff, seeing what I like and don't for this length of hair. And that's what today's all about. I'm gonna show you guys how I got this result, which is just one of the results that I've been playing with since cutting my hair. And I'm gonna Tarantino this and go back to the beginning and show you step by step how I got this and the products I used along with some alternate choices for you guys that I think will work well too. We're starting of course with freshly washed hair still damp and ready to roll. First we use a tonic or a softener. I'm going to be going with my Dauntless grooming oil of course and I'm using just a couple of drops. Just a couple drops will do. You don't want to overload it and make the hair greasy. I just want a soft nourished outcome here and an alternate choice to this that works really well too is the cloud control from Bloom on. This one works very well. And again, you don't want to use too much of this either, just enough to make your hair feel amazing. But after that, we are moving into the pre-styling phase and I'm going to be using my styling foam. This is my newest pre-styler and obviously I freaking love it and it works great here, but there's a lot you could actually use in this step if you wanted to. Some that I particularly like is Original by Bloom on. I've said that a million times. This one's eternal at this point. The Cornerstone is another one that's another great one. And if you want to hold and text, the Ace of Swords clay spray is the one for that. So there's a few that you could put to use here, but I am using the foam. I'm going to be using it because it has really great results. And I am using the heat to kind of speed along those results and get the most out of the style here. And no, I'm really not afraid of the heat. I think if I was going to go bald, I would have gone bald by now. And these days, being the father of two small children, this is about as dangerous as life gets for me. And after that's done, this is the result that I got here. I think we have some really nice hold, a really good foundation built there but of course it's not done we have to post style here and finish things up of course I'm returning to the Cavalier clay for that and I'm not sure why folks don't think I genuinely like this clay I wouldn't use something this much for this long if I didn't actually like it I mean if you think about it it really just wouldn't be worth it of course you can use some alternatives pretty much whatever you like but I've tested out quite a few things since cutting my hair and a few alternates that I would mention here is the ocean clay I love that stuff too you got the dauntless wax cream of course if you're looking for insane hold and then the mud wax from slick hair that's another clay type product that I enjoy a lot going back though to the cavalier clay here I am able to use a bit less since the pre styler already brought in a good amount of hold and I'm gonna take my scoop and start in the back and the sides because those seem to be the portions of my hair that give way quickest for me and lose their hold structure so I'm gonna make sure the first bit actually goes right to those areas the rest of course goes in front and I'm just basically putting my hair into place I'm already pretty much able to visualize what I want to what I want things to look like here and I'm just using the Cavalier now to make it match what I'm visualizing of course it's not taken very long to do that too that's kind of the point of pre-styling and using the blow dryer you set yourself up for easily obtainable results so that's what I'm seeing here and after hitting it with the comb a couple times just to clean it up a little bit you know clean it up here and there and then putting the final touches on it there we are all set this seems to be the routine that I think at least works really well as my hair is still kind of adjusting to being shorter and in this phase it just needs a little extra help and there's a little extra hold until it adjusts but those products work just fine for that purpose you can see it just works really really great actually and those alternates that I mentioned will also work just as well in my opinion I do appreciate though all of you who were positive about the styling change too that was really kind of you the few of you that did send me words of encouragement on the style I was a little bit iffy on it but if you want to share your thoughts go ahead and throw them in the comment section down below I'm always interested in hearing from you guys I always appreciate that make sure you also like this video and subscribe too and that's super important because more than half of you watching right now still haven't found the button yet I mean it's the easiest way to support this channel and keeping content going so just hit the button for me it takes two seconds you just you just need to do it at this point that is it though that's all I got for you today I hope you enjoyed running through this routine with me I will be back again very soon with an all-new shampoo search so until then take it easy I'll see you next time